All right, we're going to welcome everybody. We're going to get started right now. I'm so thrilled um, to have all of you here with us. My name is Avli Benamu. I'm the founder of her C Suite. We are a leadership platform and programs for women for every arc of their career, from mid career through um, through boards and retirement, as well as corporate. We work with corporations to help you mentor your employees. And we put on events like this for companies. We do summits, we do speaking events, we do ERG events, and we have amazing speakers like you're seeing today with us. And so I can't wait to introduce Bryn Tillman because we became fast friends like instantly. Yes. Right? right? Oh my gosh. Absolutely. Instantly. I, yeah. So we met at Sales Logic, it's a live uh, program on Saturday mornings. I recommend it. I love, love Mark Hunter and Meredith Elliott Powell. I always get something out of it. It's 7 a.m. Central, so it's kind of early for me. <laughs> it's 8 a.m. Eastern for Bryn. And I saw her and she was commenting about LinkedIn. I was like, who's this person? I don't, oh my gosh, I loved your comments. And so we connected. And you've been on my show. I got a chance to be on your show for podcasting. And now we're here. So welcome, Bryn Tillman. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for bringing me on uh, to talk with uh, your amazing community. Uh, and I'm really excited to share uh, quite a few things today. Natalie and I decided we're not doing PowerPoint. We're all PowerPointed out, right? Yeah. So. I'm going to just talk for just a little bit about using LinkedIn to start trust-based conversations without being salesy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going, once I, you know, my seven minute shtick or whatever that might be, um, uh, I'm going to, we're going to make this workshop. So, and, and I'll talk about the five things that we can talk about, right? So I hope that's good with you. Um, we feel like it's going to bring the most value to you guys. So first, you know, I just want to start by talking about how do we use LinkedIn to start conversations? And the first thing we have to do is be in the right mindset, right? So our definition of social selling is about be, building rapport, providing real value. And by the way, value is not based on what we think is valuable. It's based on what your consumer of your content thinks is valuable. So it's about building rapport, providing real value, developing trust and credibility by being a resource, understanding that the sales will come when the time is right. So I have a bunch, I'm not gonna go through all the tenets of social selling the right way, but I'm gonna start with one that I'd like you to think about throughout your social selling journey, wherever you are in it, which is detach from what the prospect is worth to you and attach to what you are worth to the prospect. So when we go to LinkedIn and say, okay, I'm gonna do lead generation is when we don't get any leads. We are all exhausted from the connect and pitch. If you've been a victim of connect and pitch, just put a V in chat. If you, I mean, on a daily basis, do you buy from them? Anyone? Anyone? No, I'd be shocked if anyone bought from a connect and pitch. So why should we do it? It doesn't work, right? So we're going to talk today just a little bit about what does work, and then we're going to help you through getting it to work. But let's just talk about what's broken. Our profiles are self-centered, not value-centric. So one of the things we could talk about today is how do we reframe your profile to move it from resume to a resource? So that's the first topic we could definitely talk about today if you'd like to. The second one is we are not leveraging our existing network 
to get referrals or permission to name drop. This is huge, right? As how many of you put in chat, if you are a relationship person, if your business requires, put an R in chat, if your business requires you building rapport and relationships in order to sell. Okay, great. I love this. How many of you, put an exclamation point, if you love client referrals, put an exclamation point. Okay, how many of you would like more client referrals? Keep exclamation pointing, right? We want more, but he, here's what happens. And, and anyone, anyone want to role play with me? Natalie, role play with me. You got it, right? Okay. Natalie, I am so glad we've been able to help you do X, Y, and Z for your business. You know, I, the results that we've been getting have been outstanding. Uh, you know, and I, I, I know you're thrilled. You've said it quite a few times. I, I'm curious, do you know anyone that you could think of off the top of your head that could use our products and services the same way that you have? What's the typical answer? Yes. Really? <laughs> What's your typical answer? Okay. I want more <laughs> Natalie. Well, I'm a super connector. So I try, I'm always That's thinking true. You're a bad example. I'm a bad example. So no, I can't think of anybody, Bryn. I'm, I cannot think of one person. Okay. Well, typically <laughs> I know I should have picked someone else because of course you would be a connector. No, no, no. I'm um, going to say no, I can't. But, but typically the answer is something like, boy, I can't think of anyone right now. But yes. if someone should ask, I'd be thrilled to introduce you. How many of us, is that an answer we've heard a lot? Yes, right? I do get that answer, Bryn. I do sometimes. Right. So you don't give that answer, but you I get do. it, right? <laughs> right? So and I'm not I, asking right. This is what we're learning. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing. They have their own business to run. They're not thinking about who they can, you know, prospect for you. However, they love you. You've made an impact on their business and they're excited to, to help you if it's easy. So we're going to talk and hopefully someone will um, volunteer to do this, but we're going to look at a client's connections and identify seven, eight, 20 people that they might know that you'd want to meet. And we're going to talk about how do we have the conversation with them that might get you three or four or five introductions or permission to name drop. So that's number two. Number three, connect and forget. We have hundreds, if not thousands of connections, yet we're out prospecting new every single day. And we are not leveraging the connections we already have, which are prospects uh, and, and old clients and referral partners. Right, this is so important that we leverage this and we can search our first degree connections to identify them. We can also export our connections, but the search I think is more efficient and more effective. So I'm hoping someone will volunteer for that. You know, so that's what I'll do. We'll get a volunteer for profile. We'll get a volunteer for client referrals, a volunteer for nurturing our network. Let's hopefully we could get through all four. A volunteer for engaging on content, and number five, creating content. I hope I keep it in the right order because they weren't really in a specific order, but that's okay. Let's do this. So who would like to volunteer and share their screen of their profile? It's a safe space. I do not judge. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want her to see my profile because it's not good. Well, no one hires me that has a good profile. No one asks me to help them when they have a great profile. I see bad profiles every single day. It's like going to the skin doctor. Don't be embarrassed, right? <laughs> so who would like, you can raise your hand, um, go, go down to the, the reactions button and click raise hands. I don't know if you guys have done this, but if you go down to reactions, do we get one? It looks like, hello. And Ellen, nice to meet you, Ellen. Nice to meet you. Let me lower my hand. Okay, there we go. <laughs> well, no, actually, keep your hand up because oh. it keeps you in the top corner and okay. it's easier for you to see. And then, Patty, I saw your hand come up. If you want to keep that raised, you'll get the next one. 
you can go to the next one. Okay, so Ellen, if you want to share your screen while you're doing this, who do you help? So I, um, I'm in the marketing department for a company that find it, that underwrites insurance and warranty products, and their products are sold through dealerships. So vehicle service contract, gap, protection, that kind of stuff. So I help our sales team okay. make those connections. So this is also notes for me, but as well as notes for our sales team to go and say, you know, you need to be doing all of this stuff along with me. I can't just do it for me because I'm not the one making those connections. They are, right? Okay, yeah. so let's let's do this from your salesperson's perspective versus okay. because they're client facing. Right. And and uh, yeah, so um I can pull actually up their profiles. Yes, like, please feel okay. free. All right. So let me share my screen. It's currently on my profile. That's so okay. I'll... You could just I don't yeah, you can pull up anyone. All right, let me put up Eric. He, this is Very our nice of... banner, by the way. Do they all have your banner? No. Okay, that, send that banner to everyone. The, co <laughs> the cohesive brand yeah. is really important, especially, so that's good. Let's look at, so he's the chief revenue officer. We're going to yes. treat him like he has a number to hit as well. Yes. So he does have, I love your banner. So from a marketing perspective, this is great. Awesome. So, so chief, so if he's the chief revenue officer, I would keep that title. There's um, credibility behind that title. An account executive, there's not so much, right? So, so let's think about. So, who do you help? You help. You're selling into the car dealership. Correct. Correct. Right? Helping the car dealer. So, the owners of the car dealerships, the general managers of the car dealerships, those are our targets. Okay. And why do they want to offer your product to their clients? Uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, the biggest one is the customer service that they get as well as their clients get. Uh, we take really great pride in um, the way we manage our contracts and pay claims so that when people have a good experience with their warranty work, then they return back to the dealership. Um, okay. Yeah. I love it. I hear it. I'm going to go. Ready? So right. I think this is like, you know, partnering with car dealerships to retain client, to retain their customers, mm -hmm. better service mm -hmm. throughout their ownership life cycle. Ownership life cycle. Yeah. That should be his headline. Okay. Okay. Right. So we get here and immediately, if I am the, the, the buyer, mm -hmm. I immediately see the value that you can bring to me. You are a resource for me, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so great. So I'm going to go to Patty for the about section. Was that helpful? Yeah, that was very helpful. All right. So we're going to, oh, I don't have, um, I don't know, Natalie, if you don't mind making me a co-host and I can. Oh yeah. Let me do that. Yeah, that rocks. Okay. So if, okay, great. Hi, Patty. Nice to meet you. If you want to share your screen and while you're doing that, tell me who you help. Sure. So I'm working on sharing my screen. So I'm um, in consulting at the moment and I help educational providers and pharma companies to learn more about educational grants and to high, the highest quality as well as outcomes and measurements for changing HB, HCP behavior and patient outcomes in healthcare. That's a mouthful. Okay. So this is where I would throw this into chat GPT. I wish I had recorded your, your but let's do this because I don't know. I don't, if I tell you, like I have some areas where I'm pretty smart and I have some areas where I'm just totally ignorant. This is one of them. So look, I'm, and this is a great opportunity because we're going to do an about section. This isn't your headline, right? So this is a great way. If you hop into chat GPT and I know some of you have not used it. If you, I'm going to do it in 3.5, which is the free version. So you can see what you can get. 
you start a new chat after you sign up. And so I am going to tell ChatGPT, write a LinkedIn about section um, focused on, is it helping? What's the word you use? Partnering with? It's it's partnering with assessing and, and helping them have a higher quality of um, end product. Okay, so partnering with um, pharmaceutical and, right? and medical education providers. I can't spell pharmaceutical. Oh, good, it respelled it for me. And um, medical education providers. Education providers that are challenged with what? That are challenged to improve their educational activities to change HCP behavior and impact patient outcomes in a positive manner. So, you, okay, wait, so improve HCP, healthcare professionals. Oh, to improve, let's just write it out. Healthcare professionals, okay. Um, improve healthcare professional um skills what was it skills and practice yeah Beha it's behaviors yeah skills and practice skills and behaviors i like behaviors to uh, improve to improve patient outcomes um we do this how do you do it um i do that through assessing their current products and making recommendations based on my expertise so assessing current products or training, well, training? No, not training, because they, 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 all of them already have current activities that they're doing, but okay. it's like, where, where, where are the gaps? What are they missing? In what? In, 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 in their grant applications and in their, um, in their grant proposals and in their measurement of outcomes, et cetera. Okay. So their current grant process yeah that's fine including um what is the first one um including grant submissions um measuring value and impact and and changing position skill sets position Is it like we want to say for the better, changing can go either way, improving, yeah. optimizing? Yeah, optimizing is a good word. Okay. All right. And then, then add a call to action. If you're, would they call them a team? If you're staff, if you're physicians, what would you say? If, if you're in need of these resources. Um, hmm. If you are, I, I think, so if you are looking to improve patient outcomes, maybe. Yeah. That's more, because they're not really looking for your services. They're looking for patient outcomes, improve patient Yeah, as long, yeah, within the process, correct. Let's chat, and then we'll go email, phone, calendar link, okay. Okay, so the about section, um, I say 1,500 characters, including, they have more, but it's too much for people to read, including spaces. Okay, so let's see what we get. I mean, I just did that offhand, but I want you to see that you could do this, right? So. I don't like, I would take out the emojis, but how about this for an outcome? Transforming healthcare professional skills and, out, and patient outcomes. I don't like welcome to my, my LinkedIn profile, but I'm passionate about driving positive change in healthcare. What I bring to the table, I don't, I, I would change that a little bit, right? Like make this your voice to sound like you, but with a proven track record around this, streamline submissions, Measuring value and impact, optimizing physician skills, the results. Let's connect. Email, phone number, calendar. 
Let's work together to create a brighter future for healthcare, right? Now, this is where you start. This is not a copy and paste, but what do you think about that? It sounds good. I think I think my what I currently have is pretty similar, um, and I didn't use ChatGPT. <laughs> well, that so so. Thank you for the that. Uh, um, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, and I should have looked at yours first. But um, if it is pretty similar, then we're pretty close, right? Like if you were able to write that, I'm not a fan. I, normally, I forgot to say don't use emojis, um, and I usually say that, but. So what I'm saying, right, like, and I, I'm going to just put this in chat so, so anyone can copy this and make it their own. But I'd like to hear from you guys. How was that experience, by the way, Patty? It's good. It's always good to learn more. I mean, and and to see what what a different way of wording things is like. Um, so I and, like and to you can use. You can use this for content. You can use this, right? There's so many things that you can use this for. I'm yeah. going to jump in and just mention one thing, Bryn, that you you talk about a lot, which is you can record, and a lot of people have their, their note takers. You can record and then talk, maybe talk about that, about how you can use your voice and then and then tell it not to do not to do something. Yeah, we'll get there with content. Okay, sorry. Okay. No, that's okay. I'm jumping ahead. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm passionate about we click the see more for Patty. I want to see how close ChatGPT got to her. Okay, so it's a little more intense, but it's it's a similar feel. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, I mean, the goal though, if you're looking for a profile, it's so easy to do. You know, you don't have to spend hours and hours and hours like getting started and typically the getting started is the easiest part so it's the hardest part sorry once you're started yeah it was easy once you're started right that you, you uh uh you know you, it's easier so um i i'm looking at our time i would like to move to warm market prospecting helene is that a good project prospect for you Topic for you. I'm sorry. My voice and my okay, brain sorry. are not connected to Self off mute. So um, just a little bit about my background. So I'm a, a retail industry leader. I have served on boards. Uh, I advise clients um, and help them to grow. I am less focused on building clients right now and more interested in finding appropriate board opportunities. So if there's a way to position it that way, um, that's great. I would love that. Yeah, so um, that's the profile piece, which I think I wanna move away from, but I'll start yeah. just really quickly. And I, you know, start your headline with the boards you're already on, um, and, you know, lead with what you want to attract. Also, I keep getting an, an email from a company that it's like a board matchmaking company. Reach out to me. I have to go find it. I think I've been deleting them, but if I can find it, I'll forward it to you. Yeah. So my headline is corporate board director, retail industry advisor, omni-channel and digital leader, customer-centric strategies. Yeah, I think, the, and I think what you need to hit is corporate board or was it corporate board corporate member? board director corporate board director is the first board is how director I so um it might i want a like a why like why would they want you as a director right that you know with them you know with a mission to um optimize operations or i don't whatever you do as a board director right i, I add that extra oomph in there yeah, so I have omni-channel and digital leader focused on customer-centric strategies. Yeah, but that's not you as a, does that does not correlate to the board. Piece. Okay, so the corporate board director has to relate to my board skills. Yeah, what you're bringing to the table as a board member. Okay. Um, do you want to volunteer to do, to see who you know that knows board members? 
Sure. Or a board. Uh, I guess chair. Who brings you on? The chairman of the board. The chairmen of the board. Chair people of the board. Could be the chairperson. It could be the CEO. It depends. I, I've had both okay. scenarios happen. Um, so let's share your screen. Okay. So I'm the West, I'm on my iPad. So what I did was I put my profile. I actually sent it to you in chat. Um, I can. I'm not so sure. We're not doing profile. That. So we'd have to be in your LinkedIn because it's your connection. Right. It's a link to my. I, 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 yeah, we have to be logged into your profile. So uh, I'm not sure how to, you know what? Why don't you pick somebody else then? Because okay, that's I, I, fine. On my iPad, sorry. So who would like to see who, who in their network? Well, we could do, we could, who in your network knows who you want to know? This is a big one, guys. This is a game changer. You want to use LinkedIn well? What we're about to do is going to blow your mind. If we don't have anybody, I, I I can always step in. I'm always happy to jump in, but I want our audience to do it first. <laughs> so, so if no one will do it, Brynn, I'll do it, but I want the audience to have a chance first. So any other, anybody raising their hands? I can do it again. I'm connected with oh, most of them. We got Thank Bill. People. Awesome. Uh, we got Bill. And by the way, this raising hand doesn't work. You have to go down to reactions and click raise hand because it's because it, whoever does it first wins. <laughs> okay. Um, so Bill, you want to share, share your screen? All right. You should have it there. Fabulous. Okay. Let me see if I, I'm going to grab a little red annotate um, and then just follow this. And by the way, this is very lucky 777 profile views. I love that number. I live at 77 Larkin and uh, bus 77 goes to New York, all those fun things. Okay, so we're gonna click on the, your search bar and hit enter. So do you see where my red arrow? Yes, and then hit, hit return or enter. Perfect. This is the hidden gem of LinkedIn. Uh, oh, let's. That's interesting. I, I hope they're not down. So, okay, good. Murphy's a family relative. Oh my gosh, mine too. We're, yeah, Murphy and his law. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna, we're gonna come back to the next person and do first degree, but we're gonna start backwards and do second degree connection. And then I want you to do connections of, stick the name of a client that would be very happy to make introductions for you in here. Okay, so we're going to click on Tom. Do you have a location? Are you United States? Are you what, like what matter? Okay. And let's scroll down. Is there an industry that you serve? I'm a training guy, so I, I work in all industries. What do you train? Yes. I, I, I literally I've worked in high tech, uh, manufacturing, okay. uh, retail, uh, so leadership. Who's your buyer? What's the title of your buyer? Um, it has uh, changed a little bit over the last few years from um, HR slash learning development to some operational people. Okay, so scroll down for me. I'm going to, rather than teaching this, I'm just going to put in chat something I want you to copy and paste in title. Hold on. So it's human resource Check. or what? Uh, learning and development. Learning and development. Training, maybe simpler. Or training. Okay. Let's see if he knows anyone. So I'm going to actually pop. You can copy and paste. Wait, where did my chat go? There it is. It went to my other. Okay. Copy that and stick that in title. Oh, no, don't copy that. Hold on. Copy that. <laughs> I had a typo. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing chat? anything. Oh, because yeah. I only sent it to Elaine. Uh, there you go. No, I did it wrong again. 
all of them. No, it's there, Bryn. It's there. I know, but I, I have the typo in that one. Oh. So, okay, there you go. I'm learning this whole new Zoom thing for the first time. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Whoops. Nope. That didn't work. Yeah, let's. Try again. Control C, Control V. No, it's not controlling. Okay, so do, do yeah, just um, type in training. Just type the word training in. We'll make it easy. And then hit show results. Let's see who he knows. He knows five people. Are these people you'd want to meet? I don't know. Okay, well, we could. Have so, a yeah, yeah, you could look each of them up. Um, we could also then, if you go to, all, you know, if you went to all filters again, you could look, you know, we could add those other titles, right? The learning and development, it'll go up. Human resources will definitely go up. So if you go down and do, do after training, do space capital O capital R. Training space. Capital, capital O capital R. R. And then do human, uh, do HR, just do HR. So he knows 15. So you see how that'll build on itself. So now how well does Tom like you? How much does Tom like you? He's pretty, we're pretty positive. Right, so if you said to him, hey Tom, I hope you don't mind. I noticed you're connected to quite a few people that I'm going to be reaching out to in the next couple of weeks. But before I do, I was wondering if you have five minutes to jump on a quick Zoom and run these names by, so I could run these names by you and get your thoughts. Oh, uh, that's clever. Right? Yeah. Okay, so now we're like, okay, I can't do this search over and over and over again. It's just way too much. So we're going to use my... What? Hold on, I got to grab my annotate again. It disappeared on me. Okay. So we're going to bookmark this. Go very slow with me. Click on the star. Click on more. Click on favorites bar. Click on new folder. Type in LinkedIn search. And type in here, no, 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 no. Type in here, up here, Tom Reeves. See where my red arrow is? Yep. If, yeah. Type in Tom Reeves. Uh, take away the, the beginning of that. Awesome. Hit save. Okay. Now go here. And uh, where's your LinkedIn? Is it down? Uh, B. Where'd it go? I'm going to guess at the very bottom. No. Oh, oh, I don't. Oh, is it alphabetical? Okay, right. hold on. I was just thinking last. Yeah, I'm not sure. You have a lot. So I'm not sure. Normally people don't have this many. Sorry. Um, but no, don't apologize. If you hear okay. click. Click the search bar and just put in LinkedIn. And then I recommend that you bring it to the top. Okay. Here's Tom Reeves. No, nope, we just did profile finder, but like, let's go back. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Go, that's okay. Click there. Nope, click there. Nope. Yep, yep, yep. So if you do LinkedIn, Tom's going to come up, right? Tom Reeves. So click on Tom. And now you have the search. So you can do this and save it. So when you get on a call with him, you're ready to go, right? Now I want you to change Tom's name out. Type in somebody else's name. Yeah, I better do, uh, they know each other really well. Okay, you're not connected to Dawn or you spelled her name wrong. All right, I'll just go try. Okay, show results. 30. 
click on the star. So LinkedIn is there. So all we're going to do today here is we're going to type in Sean Stowers. So we could do this with all our clients and referral partners. Got it. Magic? Magic. Right? Won't, won't this transform your business? Make it a lot easier. That's for making those connections. It's incredible the, how that works. Thank you for the clap, Natalie. I love the claps. Thank you. Thank you. So the next thing we're going to do is Take inventory of your first degree connections. See who we've been ignoring. Oh my gosh, do you know how Natalie invested in you? Take advantage. <laughs> no one's no one's volunteering. Really? Again? Really? All right. I'll do it. Wanna, no well, no, we got somebody. Cindy? Cindy's raising her hand, but she, she, she's doing her hand. I know Cindy very well. Hi, Cindy. I, hi. It's been a long time. Well, I'm well, still I, a member, even though I'm doing bloody nothing. Um, excuse my language. Well, come on back in. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Cindy. Okay. Okay. So, what do I need to do? So, share your screen. Well, first of all, I guess I should open up LinkedIn. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Um, so <laughs> what we're going to do, we have a bunch of people leaving, I hope, you know, because of that, I'm just going to ask you guys, are we hitting the things that you want to learn? Is this, if you put a, a, yeah, put a one, if you're like spot on a two, it's all right. A, and a three, if you're like, nope, not great. Cause we did have a lot of people leave. Oh, okay. Well, the people that are left are ones and twos. Mary Ellen, tell me in chat what I can do to make this a better for you, what you're looking to learn, uh, which would be great. Uh, top of our people are uh, stuck with other meetings. The example with Ryan was too fast for me. If this is recorded. You can come back. Uh, unfortunately, I can't like slow it down because we won't get a whole lot done. But we do have a membership where people can come in and we do it a little bit slower. Um, but, okay, so I just want to say, Bryn, like that, what you just did with Bill was really fascinating. I feel like there's so much I'm not doing. Anyway, so I opened up my LinkedIn now. And so now what do I just go share screen? Yep. And LinkedIn. Okay, and now I have to go to my profile. Um, so, no, no profile. No. Nope. Hold okay. on. We are going to do, we're going to go to search. Right. And hit enter. Okay. Yep, just hit enter. Mm -hmm. Or return. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I got to move this over here. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to go to all filters. Mm -hmm. we're going to do first. first degree. And we're going to scroll down and fill out the other relevant location. Okay. So what, what yeah, what location? Well, okay. So first of all, what am I, what we're am skipping I? skipping these control? right now. Connections of and followers we're skipping. Okay. So. so Maybe let's start with like Canada. Okay. Go I ahead. mean, I can work with anybody anywhere in the world, but um, let's start yeah, with Canada. Do... Okay. I could do Canada and the US, let's say. Perfect. Okay. Let's okay. scroll down. Is there a particular industry you want to work with? Um, anything related to um, like, I'm interested in IT. Okay. Scroll down. Yeah industry okay so technology information and media is one yeah and then type in Maybe there's another there's another I technology. could I like pharmaceutical okay because I work with a lot of pharmaceuticals All right. 
So grab um, that. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then there's another technology. There's one that's media, and then there's one that's software. I think. So hit add. add oh, okay. Industry. Uh, software. Uh, uh, um. Well, it starts technology. It looks the same. Te technology, information, and software. I think. Oh, in oh, and internet, not software. Sorry. And oh, there's media. You already yeah. have that. You already have that. Yeah. Okay. That's it. I thought it was software. I don't. You, I don't typically do that. Okay. Anything else we want to add to industry? Uh, maybe like like a Home Depot type company, which would be. Uh... So then you're talking big box retail. The, that let's skip that for now because. Okay. Yeah. So okay. let's scroll down a little bit. And then yeah. who, what, what's the title of the people in these companies you want to talk to? Well, because I work, I'm basically in the language training um, right. business, customized language courses for employees and organizations. And the person that I usually have to deal with is like the training manager. So it would be, you know, uh, so learning would, and development. Uh, I would put training. We could do learning and development. Let's do training. Space capital O capital R training or oh like this yep and space learning do you want HR no. um well because the usually the learning and lead, learning and development leads are in HR okay great then hit hit show results. So you have 10 people in your existing connections that meet that criteria. Okay, so show me how to save this now. Okay, so we're gonna go up and we're gonna click. Is it, this, is it favorites? Um, well, not yet. You haven't saved okay, it. Okay, not it, yet. It, it'll, live in, it'll live there, but you have to click here. Okay, hold on. Okay. We're gonna go to more. Um, click on favorites. You have LinkedIn September 2021. Obviously, we've done this before. So new <laughs> folder. Yeah. Oh, there's a new folder right there, actually. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can rename it. Oh, okay. Oh, it's so too late. All right. Oh. Well, actually, go back. Don't no, don't do 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 go back to go back one? to favorites. Go click on favorites. Yeah. Now new folder. You can go back and delete the other ones later. Hit, okay. Type in LinkedIn searches and then don't, and then come up back up here. Okay. And you're going to say first, get rid of all of that. No, not that. Where my, oh. where my arrow is. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Okay. Here. Yeah. And get rid of okay, all get that. Get rid of all that. And yeah. type in first training or, or learning. And you could say US and CA. Oh, I can't see now. Oh, shoot. Just move uh, the Zoom. Move the Zoom. <laughs> it's like I, that little share thing is right over there. Shoot. Anyway, I'm just going to keep okay. it like that. Okay, that's fine. Because I, I can change that after. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So now when we want to go back to it, now we're going to click on that bookmarks. And then let's scroll down to LinkedIn. I think it's, uh, yeah, it might be at the bottom. I, right yeah. here, LinkedIn searches. Yeah, so click on that. And that opens your first, but you can save all your searches under there. So just quickly, yeah. don't click on that yet. Okay. Come back here. Mm -hmm. Click on this. Yep. Click here and click on seconds and unclick first. Hit show results. Mm. And you have over a thousand second degree connections. So Matthew Clark knows Milton. Eight people know Vicky that you know. Mm -hmm. Seven people know Parissa. Wow. So, so we can go in and ask for introductions. So if you right. save this, come up, yep, yeah, and and no 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 no, okay, and go slow. Don't do anything. 
Okay, go over and, here. And put, see where my at red arrow is? Yeah, I do, yeah. Okay, rename this second training and learning you uh -oh. I seem to have lost it, sorry. Um, That's okay. Um, you have to un, click the, the, you have to unsave this bookmark. So where my yeah, you got to move do your I... zoom down. You have to move your zoom down. This isn't going to work. Zoom, not yeah, work. that's it. How do I mm, just drag and that. drop it anywhere else on the screen? Oh, that's it. I never knew that you could do that. Oh, now yeah, yeah. that's much better. Okay, perfect. So, so now, um, oh, okay, that's fine. Now you can name this second training or learning U.S. Canada or Canada U.S. Right. And so we can do all these searches and we could do the search of maybe go, okay, Matthew Clark, I know him well. So now what I want to do is before I reach out, go ahead, save it, hit done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. So now we might want to go in um, and before I reach out to Matthew Clark, I'm going to see who else he knows. So I'm just going to click in all filters. Yeah. I'm going to go connections of. And I'm going to type in Matthew Clark. Okay. Yeah. It show results. The bottom right. Uh, oh, I'll go. Oh, just, just all the way down show, to the bottom. No, just show results. Bottom right. It's in blue. It says show results. Yeah, I know. I have to move all this zoom shit around. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there. Okay. Okay. Uh, so he knows four people. So instead of just going with the one name, you have four names. So you could go ahead and then save this under Matthew's name. Okay, so go there. And you could just say Matthew Clark. Name name this Matthew Clark. Yeah. So Matthew key, Clark. Key, okay. Yeah. The key here though is you've got to really get that first search perfect. So that you are bringing up everyone that you want to meet every time. Yeah, it's a great filing system to go back to. And it's like, it's a project you can work on every day for an hour. And then you, at the end of it, you have all this. But do you, do you recommend creating the, all the, these folders first and then tackling one at a time or just doing it as so, you go? I mean, you create the list, right? You get a great list. And then you look at your calendar and say, who am I talking to this week? And you save right. those. Right. So when you get on a call with them and if the timing is right, you can say, hey, by the way, uh, Cindy, you know, this is a great conversation. I hope you don't mind. I noticed you're connected to quite a few people that I'm going to be reaching out to in the next couple of weeks. And I'm wondering, can I run these names by you really quick and get your thoughts? And now you have that saved. You just pull it up. Right. I love it. Great system. So the Thank last, you. oh, sure. There's two more pieces. There's the engaging piece and there's the content piece. So if you guys raise your hands, um, we can, I, I'm happy to talk about it, but let's talk about, and thank you very much, Cindy. Uh, hope to see you on coaching soon. Come, come, okay. Uh, I will be Ellen. there soon. Okay, good. I won't be there next week, but maybe the following. Uh, mm -hmm. Mary Ellen, I saw your hand go up. Or was that an accident or did you want to chat? Okay. This whole like cartoon face is so so different it was an accident such a um okay so let's talk about engagement engaging on linkedin is some of the most important things that you could do i'll share my screen and i'll jump into a few things um this can be a black hole um i am going to say don't almost never look at your home feed you will go down a rabbit hole and, and never come out. So be really, really careful. So what do we want to do? We want to look up our connections and our prospects 
and ring their bell. So let's go in. Oh my gosh. Yay, Lori. I love her. We're going to just give her a heart. Okay. I look at this and I say, let me see. There's someone in here. I know all these people. They're all my first degree connections. I'm looking for someone I'm not connected to. That's so funny. We have, okay. Uh, Dow. I don't know Dow. She's a second degree connection. And I go, okay. And, and one of the things I'm going to tell you to do is go find the right people to follow. So if, if Lori is, in, if all of these people are people that I want to engage with, then I want to really follow Lori. And I already do. Well, let's say I'm going to now go look at Dow. Dow is someone that engaged. She's in San Francisco. She's a CEO. I love sister, mother, board member, Natalie. Maybe we should reach out. Um, right. And, and um, so I look at this and I go, okay, this is someone I'd really love to have a conversation with. But remember, the connect and pitch is a bait and switch. So we have to take this slow. Few things we can do. I am first going to go follow her and ring her bell. So whenever she shares content, it's going to come into my notifications. I don't ever go to my newsfeed. In this case, I did just for this example. But I go to my notifications because I'm ringing the bell of the people that I am interested in. I'm pretty sure I've already rang. Oh, I didn't. So I'm going to, read, I'm going to ring Lori's bell. So when she has more um, content, it's going to come into notifications. You want to engage, right? So let's say Dow is now someone that I'm really interested in engaging with, right? I made, I, I rang her bell. I'm following her. I, oops, I really, she's someone that's now I'm very interested in. How do I start a conversation? I lost this. Clearly, I don't know how to use LinkedIn very well. I'm going to go to Lori's um activity. So Lori happens to attract a lot of people that I want uh, I want to know. So she's someone great for me to follow and to stay connected with. Um, let me see if I go to her posts here. This was it, right? Yeah. So if I look at this, I go back to Dow and I go, okay, Dow is engaging with this. And I say, okay, apparently um, here, here. Oh, so the keynote was Dow. So that's great. So I can reach out to her and I, you know, I can say, hey, Dow, congratulations on being a, a keynote speaker. I'm a big fan of Lori Richardson. Um, are you going to, I'm attending, are you going to be attending the women's conference next week? That's going to be there next week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I have a reason. You may not have a reason. So what I might say is, Hey, um, I see, you know, we're both uh, connected to Lori Richardson uh, and I might go find another piece of content that Lori has published, or maybe she was on a podcast. I could see, Dow, we're both fans of Lori Richardson. Did you hear her on the podcast X, Y, and Z? If you're interested, let me know. I'm happy to share that with you. So I'm starting a conversation around what we have in common. I'm not selling, but I'm getting on her radar. We have someone in common. I'm engaging and I'm sharing other people's content. We want to do this on a consistent basis. Minimum five people a day. They're, if you ring enough bells of people you want to engage with, they're going to come in. David Newman, I've rung his bell. Andy Foote, Joe Affelbaum, they're just coming in. I've probably, Roderick Jefferson, these are all people that I said, I want to know when they post, because these are people that I want to engage with. If you start to ignore it, so I go, David Newman, eh, and that's not true. I love him. I love everything he does. But unring the bell. Keep it clean. You really want 95% of what's coming into your notifications from bells that have been rung to be um, to be relevant. I, we have just a few minutes left and I just want to share, I think, so what are your, some takeaways? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I think original content is critical. I think it's hard to be a writer for a lot of us. Hop on Zoom, record your thoughts for three minutes, grab the transcript, stick it into ChatGPT. This is the secret that Natalie was saying and say, create a blog post, a LinkedIn post, uh, you know, a, a checklist using the following transcript only. Do not research. That is the absolute key when you're creating content. Grab your own transcript. And by the way, so I have, we got lots of note takers in here. I have my note taker. I can take some of this. And even if I were one-on-one -on -one with a client and I can take the transcript and go into ChatGPT and say, pull out the top points from Bryn Tillman because they're time stamped with my with the name. So whatever your name is on um on your your Zoom is what's gonna you just put that in. Chat GPT will do all the work for you. But the key to not plagiarize or not get bad information is to use the phrase, use the following transcript only, do not research. So Natalie, we did it. We did it. I know. I was trying to get the audience to comment, comment in the chat. We'd love to know what you found helpful out of this program. It's really nice to have this live interaction in real time because sometimes it's like, I have no idea. I, I learned things I did not know. So thank you. Brynn, I oh, always yeah. love learning things. And if you want to connect with us, you can scan and connect with, these are our LinkedIn um, profiles. So take a picture, connect with us. We'd love to hear from you. We want to know and ring our bell. That's right. Please. <laughs> and we'll ring yours. We'll ring yours. <laughs> uh, the transcript for, for this session. I, um, are you sharing that? The transcript from this session? Yeah. I will. Yeah, we'll share the highlights from this for sure. We're working on, I mean, we're, you and I are doing some things with this, so we'll share it out for sure. Okay, awesome. Maybe so we'll glad. clean it up in chat GPT first. Yes, <laughs> I like it. All right, my friend, I love doing stuff with you. I thank you so me much too. for bringing me in for today. Guys, I'm just going to say, if Natalie invested in you, if she calls you, and if you enjoyed this, if she calls you, please take her call. Thank really you. like you know she this is take her call thank you Bryn and same for you if any of our people you know please connect with Bryn she's got amazing programs and I'll have that in our community for sure we'll be posting that so thank you Bryn for being here thanks all of you for joining us today and as always keep shining your light bright the world needs you <laughs>